so here I have one of my old airships that I've completely stripped the internals. I got rid of all the old mechanisms that don't work anymore, and I'm gonna put in the new engine um, to uh, to update it. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna place the schematic. Lower it a bit. I think this is good. Yeah, this looks all right. So I'm just gonna drop this in here, and it should be able to go. Of course, I gotta start all these windmill bearings. I did make sure to build this engine so it would fit, so that's why it fits in here so nicely. So, I mean, yeah, so everything's running. Let's grab the controller. Um, go outside and fingers crossed, let's hope this works. <laughs> okay, so that one over there moved. Why isn't this one moving? What's going on here? Ah, oh, so it pushed it. Ah, uh, okay, maybe... Increase that tick there. Um, just reducing that should be okay, so... Basically what happened is this segment got triggered probably before this one can fully retract. So I'm going to go ahead and push this back manually with the piston. So I'll show you guys some troubleshooting process. And there's always some troubleshooting process. You know, things never work out exactly as you'd like you know i don't know if any of you are programmers but you, if you are well then you know that the code never works it never works the first time perfectly so building things in create is well it's kind of the same i'm getting pushed by okay all right so now they're actually in position um let me put the redstone back here. And just retract this. And it doesn't want to retract. So sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta play with it. It doesn't want to pull this back. Why? Oh. What? Why is this not wanting to go back? Oh! Okay, that's why. So... Yeah, let me retract this. Right, right, right. So it doesn't make sense for this to happen. So actually this has to expand first because there's nowhere for it to pull into itself, right? It can't move itself, it can only move the other thing. So let's press this button here. So now this has been... Okay, so now when I press this, this will pull the whole ship forward. Well, it should have pulled the ship forward. But it's not. Is there some stray glue somewhere that is preventing this from working? There might be. Sometimes I find it helps to break the pistons. Um, sometimes it just gets stuck and it, and it doesn't like... It just breaks, right? It's, it gets stuck and it doesn't want to, um, to work anymore. So I don't know why this happens. Let me put this piston back. It might have just been the setting up here. Not like that. Um, so 
let's replace this piston. Okay, will it work now? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, what? There is a bug with the windmill bearing. Sometimes you have to stop the bearing, which you sh I mean, that shouldn't have to be the case, but... don't like being adjacent to other blocks which is really strange I don't think it's these up here but you know let's break them just to be safe um, so one thing that I like to do is I check can my contraption move at all because sometimes they just don't ever want to move so, um, I like to make sure that it's not what I built that's causing the problem and that it's really, it's actually, the whole ship doesn't want to move. Sometimes something glitches and just does not want to move anymore. So that's usually one of the components associated with movement. So I'm going to break... I already broke that, replaced that piston. I'm going to replace this one too. Um, and we'll see if that has any. Actually, let's try to move it now. Will it move? See, it want. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's why. The maximum size is 2,048 blocks. So, I'm actually going to fix that. Um, configure Klein settings. It's true, this is a big airship. Gameplay settings. Kinetics. I should know this. I made a tutorial on this. Gotta find out where to set it. Oh, is it here? Yeah. So I'm gonna put it to 4096. Save, save the changes. Will it move? It's still not moving. So you see I'm moving it, but the windmill is kind of just going back. It's going back in place. Ah, this might be the windmill placement glitch. Gonna go ahead and stop all the windmills. So if we go back here and we try to push it. Ah, okay. But what that tells me is that one of these windmills is glitching, which is that's annoying. I don't like it when the windmills glitch. Um, okay, so I'm going to put the pistons back, actually. Oh, now this is out of place. I'll just rebuild this part. Actually, let's rebuild this part first. Get some chassis. Uh, this, uh, this needs a slime ball. Sticky pistons need slime balls. Okay. And then, to, how much of it is supposed to be? Because now it's all sort of out of whack. It's not how it would be. Um, I don't know. I think it just needs to go all the way here. Yeah, 
Yeah, but there's a gap of two that shouldn't be there. So normally it's supposed to connect. Okay, so since there's a gap, I added an extra space of two. So I'm gonna turn the windmills on one by one and see when I can move it. Okay, okay so that windmill is not the culprit. Um, let's see, is it this windmill on the secondary segment? No, it's not. That one works. Alright, if I go... Where's my turning segment? Oh, it's on this side. Alright, is it this one? is. So now I gotta figure out what is wrong with that whole segment placement. Um, so what I see right now is that there's a lot of blocks around it. Could this be the culprit? Is there a glue issue? Uh, there's, what's this right here? got rid of that. Sometimes the fans don't like being adjacent to anything, right? They need to have some clearance, but it's not always, it's just sometimes. Ah, okay, so I think that was it. I had to, oh, I had to fix the clearance. Okay, so what I have to do now is put this back. Um, so now this Push it forward two. It's supposed to go forward three, so sometimes it glitches. So when that happens, I just reduce the speed, kind of let it go slowly. And then when it does glitch, ah, uh, so this one was going forward faster. Yeah, so sometimes if they're the same speed, so this one needs to be the same speed or slower. So I'm gonna put it to 112 and the other one at 128 and what that's going to do is it's going to ensure that this segment never goes too fast it's going to make sure it never goes too fast relative to the other segment oh and i forgot to glue it um okay so there's a fix for this is there a fix for this um yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let it extend. I'm just gonna let it extend all the way. I'm gonna glue it. Um, then I'm gonna fix this, put it back as it was, and the whole thing should move forward now. And it did. Cool. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn on the other two bearings to make sure that, well, they're turning too. And that um, the fact that they turn um, isn't going to interfere with the ship's operation. Aha! There we go. So I have now updated this ship to work with 0 0.5, I think. Let me see if it turns. My turning is backwards. So. Actually, something that happens when you rotate a schematic like I did is that the directions of the sequence gear shifts get mixed up. There's kind of something based on having to do with how they were placed in the first place that affects um, which way they go. So you saw on my other one down there, when I press right, it turned right. When I turned press left, it went left. Like if I do it now, right, you'll see. So they're not rotating the same way. Oh, and it looks like I messed up some of the glue there, so the front fell off of my airship, so I'll just rotate that back. It's nothing to worry about. Stuff like this happens all the time. It's part of the part of the game. Oh, 
okay, so here we have the down segment. Uh, okay, so yeah, so this transmitter kind of got messed up because it got pushed. Okay, so I'll just replace that uh, redstone uh, receiver. So I'll grab this redstone link. Um, so how it works is, uh, here, how do I get in position? Okay, so this is what we want to activate. I'll turn that into a receiver. So what I do for all my builds so that they don't interfere with each other is I always put at the first frequency sort of an identifier. So like for this, everything, the first frequency is always a diamond sword, right? So like on my drills, I use a pickaxe or whatever, just so that I make sure that I never have interference between my builds. This allows uh, me to have, you know, multiples of like different builds in my world and I can use them and I know that my redstone signals aren't going to interfere with each other. So I used, um, I used yellow wool to represent uh, downwards, right? So now we go back out here and grab the controller and I press shift to go down, it will go down. Perfect. So, um, yeah, that's just a display glitch. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I just updated one of my old builds to work. Um, this, I'm gonna make some modifications. I think I'm gonna increase the distance it goes. Um, right now it only goes forward three. I think I'm gonna increase it to at least six. My, uh, my old version went forward 12. That might be a bit much. I'm limited by the space here and I wanna add some features to it. So I had, a TAT cannon. I had um, I had a kind of a drilling platform. Um, I'm gonna add some new features to this for 0 0.5, so I'll make a video about that as well at some point once I get that done. So yeah, so here's my uh, oh, an updated airship. I won't be showing a schematic of this just yet because I want to wait till it's completed and um, in a good in a good state. So I still have some work to do on it. Um, so this will be a fun return to one of my older builds um, that I'm updating to 0 0.5. So um, yeah, so you guys got to watch my <laughs> got to watch my troubleshooting um, procedure. So uh, you know, if you're a programmer, <laughs> I'm sure this sort of thing is. Um, relatable or um, I mean I'm sure some of you also do similar builds so you may, maybe maybe a lot of you have gone through this sort of thing before so uh, I hope uh, I hope you're able to like learn some tricks by watching uh, my troubleshooting uh, procedure so um, yeah so here's my uh, updated airship so uh, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video